Nowadays, pharmaceutical producers are facing growing problems from both counterfeiting and brand protection issues, both greatly decreasing patient safety and increasing damages for the producers and merchants. There are news continuously arriving to us about the application of radio frequency identification RFID. Some of them are originated from the European and American pharmaceutical industries. What are those advantages that make more and more pharma producers to tag their products with RFID labels? Is it the item level traceability from the production to the end users? Or is it the brand protection feature? What solutions can we deploy to achieve traceability for pharmaceutical products? The testing of the RFID technologies application in the pharma industry has started at the beginning of 2005 by Alaminyonda. The solutions developed since then are ranging from automatic identification of pellets all the way to the item level traceability of drug. During the development of these solutions, aluminium received help from numerous market leader companies or respected in their sectors. The Knernyomda from Békés Csaba along with aluminiumda embeds the RFID tags into the pharmaceutical packagings. These intelligent boxes become traceable after arriving to the pharmaceutical producers for the rest of their life cycles. EPC Global Hungary, GS1 Hungary, is responsible for the item level identification and traceability of drugs according to the international standards. For the supply chain, Odin Technologies Budapest provides the design and implementation of the RFID infrastructure at the pharmaceutical producers, logistics centers and pharmacies. Oracle Hungary helps in connecting the RFID infrastructure to the producer software platforms by creating the right middleware solution. The professional background for the implementation of the technology is supported by Teva. At Teva's Logistics Center, in parallel with the existing supply chain, Odin Budapest has established product, case and pallet identification at four points. At the supervisor point, where the RFID system relays manual scaling, so products provided with individual identification and placed in cases will be read immediately when traveling through supervisory points. Missing or misplaced items will be listed immediately. Anthony and readers encased in a special table and reading RFID tags will be conducting identification. Products provided with individual RFID identification following on in the distribution center will be automatically examined again, further diminishing distribution time of drugs and possibilities of human error. Odin Budapest enables 100% read rate and following all of tags with two RFID gates containing special reader and antennae. Examination at the next crossing point is conducted by auditors. Sitting at a table, they conduct the examination of individual cases manually. If a faulty case gets on the band, another examination will be conducted that can be filtered out with RFID technology reader and antennae encased in the table. The drugs leaving the auditor station arrive at the end of the distribution chain and get on pallets after sealing. The cases get on pallets and will be transported in collecting packages. The RFID gate established at the distribution center shows the number of cases and their accuracy on a terminal. The RFID system established at four points with adequately placed individual identifications and comprehensive database ensures in the supply chain that drugs get placed in boxes in correct amount and quality and that full boxes get placed on pallets in the required quantity before shipment. The goal of Teva is the establishment of a secure RFID network that identifies and tracks drugs individual products, boxes and pallets in distribution centers. The RFID solution had to fit into the already established workflows. Odin Budapest employed its own physics and process-based methodology during RFID infrastructure designing and deployment. This approach led to the pharmaceutical supply chain step-by-step on -step processes of physics, pilot and production. Physics-based approach eliminated problems during establishing of the system. 
Selecting the adequate assets and their harmonious cooperation enabled installation of hardware, deployment and testing of software to be completed in less than two weeks. Variety in drugs means difficulty in testing. Various materials, for example glass, metal, paper, liquid, require different tags that need to be applied to the right place in order to reach 100% read rates which is the basis of a working RFID system.